Hello everyone. I'm just going to give you updates. Uh, I'm most uh, right now that uh, I pretty much fasted uh, tops uh, two days and I end up uh, eating one meal a day. So what this led up to is I'm actually reading a book uh, from written by Yogananda. It's actually a discourse that teaching the, of Christ, the, um, the Bible. So he takes a, the uh, Bible, the teaching from Christ, and his work of meditations to be able to connect with Christ's consciousness or Jesus uh, with God and how everything that I have experienced to able to tie together with meditations and how um, what I want to share right now is with you based on his written and experience, interpersonal experience, all of this is just interpersonal experience. You don't have to take this as a truth or your truth. You got to always find your truth. But talk about um, light and darkness. Um, in this uh, reference that darkness uh, in the, um, probably in the Bible, some of you may have a different uh, meanings from what you have learned. But on, in this here, the darkness is not just a, a something that is demonic. Darkness is actually really the means of ignorance, ignorance of men. Uh, we have a lot of ignorance uh, being, being a human life. And that darkness leads to an illusion. So there's two types of illusion in darkness. And this interrelate with the uh, Tibetan teachings. Um, we call the Buddha. The Buddha is awakened being. You as a human achieve that enlightenment, achieve that self-realization. Then you become uh, the Buddha. You awake. Uh, this ties to the meditations. And when we meditate, we might say we see the uh, light. We see colors. This uh, in the uh, Bible, I guess, a reference to uh, Trinity, uh, which I don't know much about. I'm just beginning to actually look into this and being guided to actually learn this, um, the teaching. But what I want to connect with you, uh, bring these connections with meditations of the work of why we are doing this meditations, why you are in connect coming back to meditations. The kingdom within with Jesus or Christ, um, I refer both sometimes. Sometimes I refer to Jesus. Uh, he comes in a form in my dream state. He comes in a uh, message as a, a relatable for me to understand. Uh, when I refer to Christ, consciousness I call Christ, just to help you understand what I mean by that is just a very consciousness. It's just energy. There's no, there's no form. Um, just light. It's pure essence. But back to light and darkness. So in the Buddhist tradition, we have Maya. The Buddha talks about Maya is what we talk about in the Bible. Um, interrelate is that we able to expand and see beyond uh, the multi universe, uh, seeing beyond what we know here as a human being, the earth, uh, the things that, um, for example, relating to shamanic work. With psychedelic, you see all of these amazing thing, lights, color. Um, the, um, I, I refer to the matrix, seeing the serpent, seeing all these codes. So those are the the relations of what the Buddha talks about, seeing the Mayans, the, the trick, the um, illusions of where he when he achieved an understanding, able to connect with um, with the source, with God, and all of this is just a perceptions that kind of a, a trickster. The trickster makes us to um, lose our um, ability to really understand and know how much connection we are, that everything's inside of us. Uh, you can say part of our DNA. But the other illusion, the, the darkness, the second one, right, I refer to, um, it's called the aviya. Aviya is also another term for ignorance of the I and the me. So this is the another illusion. We talk about the illusions of emotions, our negativity, our self-talk, our uh, self-sabotage. So this is, uh, excuse me. So this is a very important because in meditation and along with the shamanic healing is that we we get some we get to able to see in those states whether it's in a higher state realm of seeing all these amazing things, DTs, angels, all this stuff. So those are the illusions of the Maya, Mayas, okay? We, we call those illusion. The other illusion, we got to get rid of our I, the me, the ego. All of these illusion ties what I want to share 
looking at the essence of the Bible, it talks about the light and darkness being the light, the kingdoms are within. That when you meditate, um, we go in this, uh, I, I say, the reason why I'm doing this is in the process of death comes. Bardo, Tibetan, we call it bardo. It is just a, a loosely um, translated as in between. The minute you die, there's a death. You die, he's de your death. In between, there's a transition time. There's a transition time to your next life, and whatever that, whatever you believe in, whether you believe it or not, just just bear with me. Um, that in between time, basically, they actually reference can be in a very meditative state up to three days. That means uh, your state of mind, your consciousness, in those states. Actually, to be in that long, that means you do a really good job with really connecting with Christ consciousness, connection with your God essence. Otherwise, uh, in a flash of death, uh, you go into already in the next life, which carry all these illusion, which is not the illusion of the minds, which we talk about. The if you look at the minds of the uh, deities or uh, darkness or a multi universe, those are beyond that. You're not gonna you're not gonna get to that point. You're basically gonna only get into your mind, your reality, as the ignorance as a human being with the I and the ego and all your problems and emotion just in a flash. So you don't have a long transition time. You're just gonna go right into reincarnating to the next life. So the practice, why we are alive to understand this practice, to not about death, but we need to understand that death is, is any time. We always expire. We expire the minute we are born. But back to the light and darkness for us to realize that it isn't the symptoms, the demons, as um, maybe there is, but I'm gonna tell you that based on personal experience, we can we can move this. We can able to connect right here the spiritual um, eye, right facing the the they call it the east in the eastern. But uh, this book is written by Yogananda, who is the Hindu guru, a meditator, uh, who actually have his lineage of all of these teachers. All, all talks about connected to Christ consciousness. So he also meditated where Jesus and Jesus um, want him to teach this. Um, with the Bible connection with his understanding of Eastern philosophy, and uh, if I get you lost, don't worry about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat the summary here. Um, is by what I have understand to be able to connect what light and darkness, light referring to our ability to connect to God within the kingdom within the uh, light of uh, Christ consciousness, being meditate allow us to commute uh, connection all the time. And this is uh, not just about the light of what you see in the vision and to understand the ignorance, ignorance of the I, the me, the ego, is that we can get rid of it to able to embody it. And when death comes, is preparing, is always preparing for where we want to go. Uh, preparing is that in this process, the more we can hold the Christ consciousness, the light within ourselves, do the practice of meditation while we are alive. When death comes, we can hold the same light long enough for us to really transition and really about going back home, right? Whether your home is heaven, whether your home is, um, um, I guess uh, it is heaven or a pure essence of light or God, right? Um, you can actually allow that it takes a place and which is where which is important about really about right now why we are alive to able to reprogram our subconscious to allow it to take over and to eliminate the fear fear of darkness fear of darkness refer back to the illusions um i guess uh, that's really what i want to share i probably dig a little bit more um this is what i have led me i'm speaking very fast because i'm just Got so much energy um, about what's really is happening. Um, that's it. Uh, this is the update. Um, I took my test. Hopefully, my result definitely going to be um, negative in a few few days, and I will catch up with you guys in the email about when we are gonna um, come back together in a group class. I'm, I'm cannot wait. Um, very uh, very excited. Um, my mind is really able to tell you a couple more things, but um, for now, um, there's a lot more coming through. This is about helping each other, whether you believe in the, uh, 
the Bible, whether you believe in Buddhists. It's not, a, it's not about taking your belief and, and change your belief system. It's about helping us in the medita meditative state to always come back to the light and understand the process, the nature of our mind, how to navigate through our mind process with all this emotion, negative and positive, and hang on to that and reprogram our mind, our consciousness to connect to God essence, who we are that is within, not anything outside of us. Um, so hope you enjoy your uh, holidays, your Thanksgiving. So I'm very enjoying, I cannot wait to get back uh, to life. <laughs> it's only been here a few, uh, few days, like a week, it seems like forever. But I'm really enjoying my time um, reading the Bible uh, written by Yogananda. So I can share the book with you. Instead of me writing, I figure I'm going to just talk to you guys about it. Um, all right. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.